Okay, doing a really quick overview of what I've done with the rack 2270 sticker tracker. First, removing the uh, covering, and but leaving the the glue on the back, um, the sticky part on the back. Anyway, this has a motion sensor, and it uh, communicates over LoRa, uh, either LoRa WAN, but what I've got set up is uh, LoRa P2P. So. Here we have, uh, it's upside down, um, I'm using this uh, chow just to give it 3.3 volts power. Notice it's only got two cables feeding into it. These other cables are for USB TTL, so it's not connected, it's just communicating with Laura. Uh, what I have here is a web page, which um, I'm going to connect to the third uh, sticker tracker right here with this um, uh, web serial. So now it's connected, this one's flipped over and it's already uh, loading a page to you know show whatever machine it is and it's reporting the machine learning report and the date and time. Um, these are the different codes for the first letters so uh, if I type a V and just junk uh, it's got the A just flipped over, uh, saying it's flipped over again. But uh, in and some more stuff, and it would bring up that one. So it can monitor a bunch of different machines. Uh, it's Laura. We've got machine learning on the sticker tracker. We've got a web page to monitor those as they come in. Um, flipped over isn't terribly good machine learning one. It'd be more vibrations because you could just use the motion sensor to test that it's uh, flipped over. How is this all done? I have a web page and this is not ready to be hooked up. But this web page, once again, connecting with web serial, uh, you would grab data from the uh, sticker tracker and then you would train the data with a machine learning model. Here's the model has a uh, flattened layer and a couple of dense layers, etc. Um, and we'd train it and then we would create a model and then convert that model to a C header file and then use that C header file. Here's the code that would go on the sticker tracker and I will eventually show all that stuff. But at the moment, we have a way of monitoring LoRa P2P, which means it doesn't need any um, uh, connectivity. All the different devices can be exactly the same, and it can communicate with the static web page. That's about it.